the stress never ends with the taxes. <laughs> We've been here for what, 40 minutes? But documents were missing and needed and... It's just because we're disorganized. It just absolutely kills me. So we're just getting into it now. So we're you guys... certainly not victims. We do it to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to be more organized. Very important documents so that we get, has, we just throw them away. We don't Eric need this. has this really interesting look going on today. Oh, this? He put his sleeves over the big poofy pants. Well, I have the sleeves, but the pants are tapered, so I'm not going to put the sleeves. You know what I'm saying? What am I supposed yeah. to take my pants off in the gym? So, so this is a new trend. A little bit of knee compression. <laughs> makes everything feel better. Anyways, also, we didn't start filming until now because I had to freaking jimmy rig this setup here. I think we got it to work. I was like, oh man, I haven't used the eccentric hooks in ages. It's the ultimate technique that the ancient philosophers, you know, nobody freaking does it. This is like the ultimate overloading technique. But as we got here, I'm like, oh frick, there's a platform and my RDL, and then the weight's gonna fall. So I had to shimmy these bumpers and uh, it was a nightmare, but you know, once you figure something out, you gotta figure it out for life. So now every time I come here, now I know. A 45, a 25. Uh, these weigh 11 pounds a piece. So this is uh, 90 plus 22. So 112 pounds. So it's 405 plus 112. 517. Let's show the people how it's done, shall we? Mama's yawning, she's giving me no. In Intensity, energy, I enthusiasm. Help. I get two hours less of sleep than you every day. It's true. Sometimes this feels great, sometimes it doesn't. We'll see. Sometimes one side hits the ground before the other and it's just like, feels awful, absolutely awful. But once I do, the more I do this, the more I'll perfect it. And this will become the you know world-class technique to, for me to deadlift 800 for sure. That's the next goal. That would throw me off. So is it similar to the band technique, but it's just like more... Totally different. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the band technique, you don't know how much you're lifting. And it's progressively more, so like when I start with the deadlifts, I can't do the technique here. I mean, I guess I, I don't know. Anyways, at home, if I'm deadlifting, I'll have a band between the bar and I'll start with like eight bands on. And they're all different tensions. So I'll have like a monster band. But I'm saying similar in the fact that it starts out heavier. Or is it Well, the band like technique's the opposite. It starts out lighter and gets oh. ultra heavy. So it's more like chains. Because when you get closer to the ground, don't the chains mostly like drop to the ground and they're not Yeah, but this heavy? is totally different. Because with that, it's accommodating resistance. This is just purely super heavy. And it's like the bot, it gets the freaking nervous system like ready to hoist huge freaking load. Everything gets super tight. It's like, oh my God, you got to brace. You got to get so freaking taut. Okay. And then once it releases, it's like, oh my God, it's a feather. Think about it. Yeah. It's like if you had a baseball bat that weighed 100 pounds and you're going to swing it and all of a sudden, you know, 90 eight pounds came off and like, jeez, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't, sure. I feel like if you're shooting a basketball that weighed 20 pounds, and then all of a sudden all the weight disappeared. You throw it into the Uranus. Yeah. But I feel like... The planet Uranus. What? That didn't even make Chloe laugh, by the way. Eric was making a Uranus joke. I love a good joke. Uranus I think joke. I heard them already in second grade. <laughs> She's too young to get the humor. She was like, oh, Dada. And then I asked her if that's like how the boys at school were, and she said, sometime. The eight year olds? <laughs> yeah, well, they'll, they'll become cool with age and get it. <laughs> Frick, mama. I gotta steal everyone's plates. <sighs> but that's her response to a lot of the things she says. Oh, Dada. <laughs> so funny. She's very mature. He went to go get weight. Um, 
This one doesn't have the sign saying only rubber plates. We're at a different gym. You're talking about the deadlift in? Yeah, I don't see a sign that says rubber plates yeah. only. Yeah, they're cool here. Maybe it's I'm like at Crunch. Center. We're not even gonna get into it. We've talked about it a couple times already. Let's talk about why we haven't been on camera. Today? No, just the past few days. Everyone's like, oh man, loving the, consi the consistent content. You guys are really... Well, the weekends we have Chloe Bear. Yeah. So we would have to do it in the garage. But I horsed and heft and heaved the biggest weights of my you life. Did, yeah. We just didn't. But I don't want people to think that I take days off. I don't. The days that you didn't I see were more. The days that you didn't see were more intense than the days that you do see. If you go to my freaking Instagram, you'll see what I'm talking about. I did the Cambridge Bar. Good morning. So the Cambridge Bar is gravy for that because, like, if you do a searcher squat, your arms are like this the whole time. If you good morning, you know what I'm saying? And that bar is gonna roll. But with the cambered bar, because it's like this, it can't roll. Yeah. It can just bludgeon your forearms. So my forearms are just bludgeoned. Felt awful. I also used the power pole. And something I was doing with the power pole was, it's, it's, man, that thing is like gold to strengthen your back. I gotta use it more. I just feel like, I fear we're gonna be shunned if I bring it to the gym. But there's nothing that works like your mid-low back, like the power pole. So I wore that and I was doing alternating curls with it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like stability, just bracing. So you're taking such a, a you know, soft daffodil exercise, like an alternating curl, and you're making it extreme. And then the next day I did a band-resisted cambered bar, you know, ultra range of motion bench press. And then as the weights got heavy, I took the bands, I did manipulate the mindset, took the bands off, and the cat was under me while I was doing it. Not in an unsafe way though. Well, no, but it was, it was funny. I didn't even notice it until I saw she the was footage. Down. So that video went viral. It's got like five million boosting up on Instagram. These are the best pants in the world. I might make some of these. Yeah, you should. Should it say thick? on the pants or should it just have like a horse cock? What if you make pants with like Velcro things you can just like... Like tendon? Like built in. <laughs> knee built support in pants? Support. That'd yeah. be awesome. I, I, would, I would thrive. Should I do this with a belt or no belt? Probably a belt. This we is have, 600 pounds already. We have different opinions. 585. I like using a belt earlier than him. This is like 605, 607 right now. But if I do it with no belt, then the next set with a belt is going to be really easy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that works for you. For me, it, it does work for like me. It manipulates, and then I'm like, manipulates my mindset. Yeah. I'm going to do it with no belt. Okay. Sorry, Mama. You lose again. I know. You never do what I want or what, yeah, what I suggest. No, I, I want you to tell me it's what you really think I should do because too, then I, He's it, always like asking me for my opinion for everything, and then he always does the opposite. So sometimes I'm like, Oh, just do whatever you want to do, honey. Like, not in a mean way. I just say that because I know he's going to do what he wants to do anyways. And then he gets really upset with me for not giving my opinion. And then he never takes it, which is fine. But it's just funny. Because then he'll make me, like, watch something ten times so that I can give him my opinion. And after watching it ten times and giving my opinion, he does the opposite. But I respect that he's his own person. Oh, oh. shnikes. That's what I'm saying. It feels terrible. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of dangerous. I'm not going to lie. What happened there? Did one side come off first? You hit that thing. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. That's my fault. That's not the hook's fault. But it was funny because it felt like heavy and it felt serious. You wouldn't improve ever. And I gotta I give you credit because I would never consider if it wasn't for you constantly freaking bringing it up. Yeah. But I'm kindly, I'm kindly, finally, I guess I was conned, conned finally. I finally was conned by Mama. I kindly realized that I probably should. It's, it's just gonna be a freaking learning curve. Like, okay, if I do yoga in the morning, how do I lift at night? Well, we can figure but like, it out. If you think about it, like, I just have like no hamstring mobility. Yeah. So I feel like if that improves, like my deadlifts can and improve too. And show off too. your shoulder mobility. Let's see the shoulders. 
Yeah, that's as far as he can get his <laughs> hands together in the back. <laughs> you know, people like <laughs> Well, and I used to be super flexible, and now I'm like stiff as a board because all I do is lift. And so I think to myself, this can't be healthy. We have to incorporate something. You ready for the big freaking gusto? Yep. So we'll see. Maybe Eric can get to Juji level flexibility with yoga. I doubt it. Maybe. Maybe. Just shame everyone with my flexibility. Then you and Juji can like collab and do like the split videos yeah. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it would be quite the transformation for you. Yeah, maybe I should document it. That could yeah, be a fun series. You should. <laughs> Looser by the day. Yeah. I just know. I feel like I'm always almost getting hurt. Because 697. I'm so this stiff is 697. Now. Okay. <sighs> just can't hit these freaking hooks. It was okay when it was 500 pounds, but now that we're getting heavy. I don't know what we're listening to either. What the frick? Did I hook that or something? What? Did something catch? I don't know. I think that did I, that caught the plate or it fell on the plate, right? I don't know. I feel like I, I had way more tension on one side. I very... feel like this is very risky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making you go very lopsided. Do you see how this is touching the plate? It fell yeah. into the plate. Yeah. So should I try it again? Or maybe it falls out of the way more? Or should I not change anything at this point? I don't think you should change anything at this point. Yeah, that fell. I could t I could tell something was the the hooks fell into the bar, so it was like it had that extra. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Man, how do I want to carry on with this? Should I just put more weight on the loading? I don't know. Kind of weird, huh? Very it's kind of, of proven to not be very fruitful. Like it's cool, but it's not. What time is it? Two. Okay. We've been lifting for like 20 minutes. It's kind of been a wash so far. No, it hasn't been 20. It's been at least half an hour. Yeah, but. Because we just turned the camera on 20 minutes ago. Okay, I think if I put the first of all, I should take these off, which might be kind of risky. Let's do it anyways. And then I think if we put the hooks hanging more off, I just want to get over 800 eccentric. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I want to put too much more weight on this. Yeah, probably not. So I think if we... I think you should start listening to your music now. I will. Yeah, this is like do or die now. I mean, let's see what happens. Call me Risky Ricky. So risky. Risky Ricky. All right, I think if we hang it off kind of halfway, it might be good. <laughs> that was easy. easy. That look okay? Yeah, it's just scary to me, but. It's pretty, fun. well, it's easy because I'm like 797, but that's only for here. So yeah, when 110 pounds comes off, <laughs> of course it's easy, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the wrong mindset right now. That's like when they do the reverse bands. I used to be a big proponent of them because like, oh, you could supra max. But then you're only looking at the heavy weight on the bar. Like, holy buckets, it's, it's 800 pounds, it might be heavy. When you don't know how much weight the, it's taking off. So you're, it's like reverse psychology, like you don't mm -hmm. want that. Whereas if you have the band tension, it's only 500 pounds. Holy, I'm gonna smoke it. But in reality, it's probably over 800. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Whereas if you have 800 reverse bands, you're focused on 800. If you have 500 with band tension, you're focused on 500 where it very well may be 800. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like with this, it's like, it's 800 pounds basically. I'm like, holy shit, fuck, it's 800 pounds. But it's not, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's 675. It's only 800 for the first second, you know? 
Yeah. So, I mean, I could... What do you think I should do? I don't know. Should I go up more? Sure. Because that was pretty easy. Yeah, then and go then, up. And then not use the hooks for the, maybe a top set and see what happens? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like you're... You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like maybe go for 770. Are you warmed up enough for that? Like, because you're really only warmed up for the extension. I'm warmed up for of. here. And then it dropped. And it's like, boom. Easy. I guess you could try. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like there's not much more room to put stuff on. So I could go for 770 right now. I just did basically 800 i felt 800 up top you get what i'm saying yeah should i do it sure should i just freaking go for it go for it i mean the worst that happens is i can't do it and i just drop it yeah and if that's the case then it's like or do i do like one more warm-up set or should i just freaking go for it just go for it i agree when i unracked it it didn't feel that heavy yeah you know it's, it's a sticky situation though <laughs> it is a sticky situation should I put more All right, on? Stop thinking about it because you might not want to do it then. All right, well, let's just freaking go for it, right? I think. Yep. Just get in and get out. Blast it. Yep. It's kind of crazy how none of the racks are being used. I feel like it goes in waves. <clears throat> like, the million dollar question for me to hit it is what song do I listen to? Oh, yeah. That's the most important factor. Either everyone wants the racks and there's like a line or there's like no one on the racks. Huh? Just saying there's no one on, on the racks. Uh, there never is, Mama. It's it goes surprise. in waves. Does it surprise you? Seven seventy, right? Seven seventy. Do you think that's what I should go for? Sure. Yeah, for it. Certainly not gonna stagnate and or not try to hit a bigger weight, you know. Let's see what happens here, schmook schmook. Oh yeah. We got some clips done now too, so. The problem, here's the deal. Moving forward, I want to keep using these hooks, but moving forward, it's like, how do I do it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I can't really fit any more weight. I guess I put more, I guess make the pins a bit shorter and put more on the hooks and then go till almost failure and then drop it. So it's like a drop set maybe. I don't know. That could be a different way to use them. It's so funny the type of music they play at the gym. I get it because it's like popular and upbeat but at the same time it's like just so soft and then we wonder why no one tries in the gym yeah i don't want to wait i don't want to wait like am i supposed to feel aggressive and push my body to its absolute limits <laughs> i don't think they're catering to you i don't want to wait i don't want to wait there's been times where i'm like i'll just Listen to this pop bullshit. It's a good, good beat, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like I feel so weak. It's like, all right, I just gotta put. True. I gotta put something aggressive on. Yeah. You ready, Schmook Schmook? Biggest weight of my life. Once again. Biggest weight of my life. <laughs> biggest RDL of my life. You got this. Yeah, I think I got it. If that hook lift was anything like the real lift, super easy. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out right now. Combustion. Mashuga. It's a good one. It's got a really good build. So you feel the fire, you feel the energy, kind of settles and it builds. Do you want me in front <coughs> or behind? All right.
Heart attack. <laughs> Actually, it looked felt, really easy. It felt pretty easy. Yeah. Other than the guttural groans, and I'm sure everyone in the gym was horrified. My heart has so much pressure on it during a lift. You know what I'm saying? Because you're here, and there's like everything concaves. Is that healthy or is that not? No. Healthy? 100% not. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Maybe you need to start running or something too. <laughs> Maybe I should push the sled right now. Yeah. All right, we'll go do that. Should I turn it off for now? I think we're done, yeah. Yeah, okay, <laughs> bye. All right, well, again, hilarious. So caught up in the freaking focus of crushing the lift. I put the eight plates and a two and a half on that side. And on this side, I went to go strip the weights and it was not the two and a half was on the floor. So. <laughs> So it was so still a PR. It was still a PR. It was 767 and a half pounds. And you've done 65 before, right? For 765. Deadlift. I did conventional. Yeah. Never an RDL. But this was supposed to be 770. It was 767 <laughs> and a half. Yeah. But of course, you had a film on the side where there was no two and a half. Now, if I upload it to Instagram or something, you know what I'm saying? No one's going to believe you. Yeah. It was it's at least 765. It was so easy. What's that? It's surprising it was so It would have been easier probably if the bar was even. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. God, God dang it. Yeah. Why do we always do this? You don't want to go for one more? Hell no. <laughs> okay. Kidding me? It was still a PR. Yeah. I'm happy with it, but it's like, I mean, when you have so much weight, like what's two and a half pounds on one side anyways? Yeah. The truth is, honestly, the truth is, these plates probably aren't 45 pounds like, perfectly anyways. Some of them are heavier and some of them Some are heavier, lighter. some are lighter. I don't know about these, but I've weighed my metal plates at home. Some are 46 and a half, some are 44 and a half. One's 47.1. That's why I have tape on there because I used to write the weights so I would know. But then eventually I'm like, who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. If you just mix it up every time, then you're gonna be lifting. It's gonna be a little uneven on one side, but like I would probably bet my life these are not 45 and a half or 45 yeah. perfectly. 